Well, this has all the makings of a real needle fight between Lloyd Huntington, the former world champion, and the up-and-coming Adrian Dodson. Only 11 fights against a man who's had 47. And the Board of Control has told it to behave themselves after some of the remarks that have been made. And there's a strong referee here in Richard Davis. He's, he gave him a real going over in the introductions there. Behave yourselves. I'm in charge. I stick to the rules. So the southpaw then, Adrian Dodson, if you haven't seen him before, he's got a lot of ability. Boxed in two Olympic Games representing Guyana and Britain. greatest wins we've ever seen in an American ring of course was Hunnigan defeating Don Curry in Atlantic City back in 86 seen on ITV oh dear it looks as though he's got him early on Dodson it's the first raising class he's had he's lost control of his legs completely in the opening round here Hunnigan can he get over it I doubt that well he's been asking for trouble since the first bell rage no defense hands at his side and he's paying the full penalty here. Is he going to use that ropes as a bit of a catapult? No, he just he hasn't got control of his legs now. Hannigan was very, very good at this when he was at his peak. But the reflex is slow and you have to change with the times and he hasn't done that. Paid the full penalty for pretty much boxing stupidity in the first round. No defence. Remember he had some... A couple of beatings with Marlon Starling and Mark Freeland. But you didn't expect it. Well, say you didn't expect it. I dare say Dodson was actually the betting favourite, the youngster. You know, this is basically a young man's game. I don't tell George Foreman I said that. At least Hunnigan has the sense not to get involved. He, he knows he's lost a round. He's struggling here. He's just trying to keep his chin out of trouble. Don't take any chances. But his movements are not right. It's the leg movements that's bothering me, Jim. He hasn't got control of him yet. No, no, he hasn't thrown the effects of that punch yet. Dodson really is a, is a little bit worldwide in the uh, almost in the Eubank and the Nassim Hammond class, I think. It's, it tells you what he thinks. Well, Dodson knows if Hunnigan's legs have gone, there'll be no powerful punches coming back, so he can take chances, go completely on the attack here. Not worried about his bravery at all, Hunnigan, Jim. That one with Vinny Pazienza in Atlantic City was really something else. When the commissioner actually dived in the ring before the referee did to stop it. And he fought his heart out that day, uh, Hunnigan. But, you know, 34, sooner or later, it catches up with you in this game. But uh, he looks as though, yes, he has. He recovered OK from this one. Yes. That's some record, really. I mean, four, four defeats, and uh, the wins he had over Don Curry were, uh, was tremendous. And defended his championship, he won the British title against Mickey Hughes. So he had nine title fights between 86 and 90. This is how he went down, Jim. Yeah, well, well his hands were always far too low. He backed off with no defence, and that's what happens when you do that in the fight game. The ropes kept him upright, but legs had gone. At least he was looking straight back at Dodson there, but he was badly shaken. And there's the unbeaten then, Stop Tate, the American trainer in the corner. Boxed in Seoul and Barcelona, and was the 1990 ABA welterweight champion. Second round two. Second round then. Well, a shaky one indeed there for the former world champion, Lloyd Hunnigan. Trying to regain some of those glories. But even when Hunnigan tries to deliver a punch, Reg, like the hands move, but the legs don't follow through. He's not got his body weight and he's punching together. His coordination, just something wrong with it. Legs still a little bit shaky. He still digs a bit, but it's a question of can he land on this fellow? It's such a move up in class, not beyond the sixth round Adrian Dodson has, has finished five in the first round he's had but I've always liked his amateur boxing, I thought he was outstanding and very disappointed he didn't win a, a medal of any colour in uh, Barcelona. Well, Hunnigan getting some punches off now, this is a little improvement getting forward a little bit more 
Mind you, I should add that Dodson was very upset at the weight that the ABA chose him for there. He thought world of weight was too light for him, and now he's 11 stone 2, light middleweight. I suppose he was right. Training in the States as well. He won the Golden Gloves there at one time and the best boxer award in the New York Golden Gloves. So he got the first right hand through that little, little touch of the old Huntington there. Yep, his boxing certainly improved. He's got his act together, getting some body weight into the shots now. He was just kind of pushing his hands out in the first round. Good amateur as well, of course. Huntington, downside in the Fisher Club, Box for England. But he never won an ABA championship. Yeah, he pulled himself together well here, Huntington, Jim. Yep. Well, that's a little touch of experience that counts. That's what he's doing, calling on his experience, getting good punches off here. We have to remember that his peak Hannigan was one of the best fighters to come out of this country. Tremendous attitude for the game. Nice right hand again from Hannigan. Dodson taking too long to get his punches off here. Just getting a little bit outsmarted in this round. Well, he hasn't had too many opponents throwing much leather at him, really, even though those 11 fights to him. He's never been under any real pressure. No, well, we said it was time to step him up in class and let's see what he can do. It's amazing, really. It's quite a different Hannigan in the second round, isn't it? Well, it looks as though he's coming over here for an interview. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> With a little bit of show, I think he said something about, I told you I could do it, but he couldn't. Through the gum shield, I'm afraid I couldn't understand the old ragamuffin. He said, I think he said, I'm the man, if I could re dare read his lips. Well, it's nice he's got his confidence back after the shaky first round, but all the good punches in that round came from Lloyd. Good round. Good leading punches, getting body weight behind the right hand. Dodson did very little work at all in that round. Twenty-five years old, this fellow. Second up, round three. Third round coming up, then scheduled for ten. Eleven stone division. Very shaky start indeed for Lloyd Hunnigan and the. Southpaw Adrian Dodson, the, the sort of young pretender on the, on the block now. And then the second round, Hunnigan came back very well. And as, as I say, we think he said, I'm the man. He had the cheek to walk right across to the commentary position. But I've known him since back in his amateur days, and uh, luckily ITV covered him winning against Don Curry in America. What a sensation that was. The first of the wait since the great Ted Kid Lewis. surprise there for Dodson yeah, but he's, he's still a very capable young prospect really isn't he but youth prospect 25 he should have been matured by now yeah but it's fights uh, such uh, as this uh, with men who really know the business inside out they'll probably remind him he still has a lot to learn been Hunnigan using all the tricks keeping them off balances judging the range to perfection but still for my liking taking too many chances Good solid left hands coming through from Dodson now. Midway through the third. Hun Hunnigan's chin never still for a second, and that's what's given Dodson so many problems.
Dodds, who just still not getting through cleanly. Well, a punch caused that. I mean, in effect, it was a knockdown. Yeah, he, he did touch the canvas as well. Technically, he could have caught it, I suppose. But, but no time to count, and we don't have the mandatory eight count, so the referee was quite right to stay out of it. Hannigan been caught now by the shot, his head rolling. And he stopped it, he stopped it. Hannigan's probably saying what for. Now this is a repeat of when he was defeated by Vinnie Pazienza. Well that's it, that makes a change, doesn't it? For the boxer to be lifted his second up instead of him being lifted up. But Richie Davis is saying, no, that was it, I didn't want to see you take any more punishment. I dare say Hannigan said, I'm still wild enough, wily enough and wild enough in this case to come back. But led back to the corner by Mick Williams. And, uh, well, Jim, I hate to say it, but I hope really now that that's the, the end of a terrific career for Lloyd Hunnigan. Yeah, well, Hunnigan, he probably feels aggrieved because he was still ducking and diving and trying to ride the storm, but he was doing nothing. Nothing was coming back. And those two shots alone, and you can see the way his head hit against the, the, the pad there. The referee quite right to stop the fight. And bang, that was a solid shot. Another solid shot. Look at the yeah. way Hunnigan's head's going here. Three solid shots in the trot with no reply. Head fell back against the pad. Another two shots. And Dodson ready to tee off once again. Referee picked the right spot. <laughs>